Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Brother James Benedict. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Welcome once again to Victorious Daily Devotion. Topic for today's morning devotion. The only cure to a lonely and depressed heart as far as I know is to have Jesus within us and to be alone with him every day. Psalm 102 verse 7 says, I lie awake and I become like a bird alone on a rooftop. Loneliness may creep in on us like a shadow without warning or it could come like aftermath. of a great storm of hurricane proportion leaving scattered pieces of lives everywhere we often times allow the enemy to use this season of loneliness and further derails us to discouragement and despondency some of us have seasons of loneliness because of broken relationships within the family misunderstandings between friends and relatives We as Christians are most privileged to combat loneliness easily than others because we know and experience its risen power but often times Christians behave like orphans when we are surrounded by difficult situations in our lives because Christ truly doesn't reign in our lives we get hurt easily we get disturbed easily these are the signs of loneliness irrespective of any religion a person who knows the lord as a savior who loves the lord and doesn't like to like sin to invade his life will conquer loneliness much better than others john d rockefeller was one of the wealthiest man in usa his wealth was incalculable This is what Dale Carnegie has to say of him in his biography. Rockefeller's obsession with wealth was so much he was unable to sleep. His digestive system was damaged and obsession of wealth over the living lord was so much in the fag end of his life he could not enjoy the wealth he earned but it brought him fatigue, disease, distress and loneliness. his entire digestive system was damaged and he was forced to eat baby food because of indigestion richest man sobbed and said doctor what is the use of all my wealth i am unable to eat one morsel of food he lamented loneliness and fear were his last companions he sobbed and said i am wearied of this world yes truly Loneliness will lead ultimately to weariness, disease and distress which are all manifestations of darkness. Lord thy word says cast all your anxiety on him because you care for us. So Lord help us to seek you and have you in the center of our lives. Your love and your resurrected power can give us purpose and fullness of joy even amidst adversity supply which thwart us from loneliness and fear lord give us your grace and help us to have you as part of our life in jesus supernatural and loving name we pray amen thank you for listening to today's devotional god bless you have a blessed day and always remember jesus loves you and cares for you